welcome to a vlog. I just woke up. It's 8 o'clock and today it's exciting because I'm going back to acting class again. A lot of you who've been following for a while might know that I have been pursuing acting for maybe like four years now. So that's been fun. There was like a big pause in going to classes and stuff because of COVID and I didn't want to do any Zoom classes because I feel like I can't learn that way. I wanted to be in the room. I'm finally going back in a room with a bunch of people who are like me and it's in New York City so that's very exciting. So I'm going to take you along today. I'm going to get ready and pick out my outfit so I look cool. <laughs> and we're just going to we're just gonna do the thing. I thought today would be like a nice spring day, but it's actually raining. So I guess that is a spring day, a very common one. So I need to dress like not that cute because it's gonna be cold, but I'm sure in the later weeks of the class, I will be able to dress cute. It's a four week class. Let's just think about it because I have to do a scene immediately before I even meet anybody. Like they just sent it out and said, be memorized, pretend you're actually at an audition and come in prepared. So I'm kind of gonna dress in the character's vibe and she's like at a police station getting interviewed. So like probably a little bit more businessy casual, but nothing crazy. Like I don't wanna look like a young kid right now. So I wanna look like mature and simple. So let's think about that. I think we're just gonna go with black jeans 100% because they're really comfortable. These are actually my favorite black jeans ever. They are literally so soft and stretchy. I hate wearing things that are not comfortable and I live in sweatpants basically so anything that doesn't feel like jeans um, I love so the top is gonna be the issue here let's decide okay I was thinking about this black mock turtleneck but do I want to do black on black not really I want to stand out you know I could also do this white mock turtleneck I haven't worn a turtleneck in a while it's weird to bring it out for the spring but Kind of like that. And then there's also this shirt that has like waffly material and it's a different cut. And I kind of like that. You know what? No, it's like the exact same color as the jeans, even though this is like gray. We need color, we need some color. Should I go with my trusty book me blue sweater? Maybe. I think I'm gonna pick the blue. Let's just go with the safe option. Okay, here's the outfit. I'm not super proud of it. It's not adorable, but I'll be comfortable. I gotta be warm walking around the city because I have to walk from the train to the place, so gotta, gotta put warmth over cuteness. I'll, I'll put cuteness everywhere else, which reminds me, I need jewelry. So you're not supposed to have like too much flashy jewelry when you're doing a self-tape audition, or I guess an acting class it would be fine, but you wanna kind of dress how you would for an audition so that they can you know, critique you and not be distracted by anything. And Anna Luisa has beautiful pieces that are simple, minimalistic, but really make you stand out and put your outfit over the top. And I got some amazing pieces from Anna Luisa, so thank you to them for sending these over. So you gotta help me pick what I am going to put on today. I put this on like a week ago and it's so thin that I forgot I even had it on. And it's just a very dainty necklace. And I think I'm gonna keep it tucked in because it doesn't really go with the neckline of this shirt, but I just love having it on. I wear it in the shower, I wear it to sleep, and I forget that it's there because it's just so light, but it's really pretty. But it doesn't go with this shirt, so we're tucking that in and saving it for another day. Now we're gonna go with the earrings. Two options for earrings. I have these twisted hoops. They're really pretty, and they're, they're very small, so they're not too flashy let's put them in and show you these are really pretty i don't even have makeup on yet and they make me feel like i have makeup on you know like i feel like my outfit just has that extra something and i'm like i could walk out of my house and feel confident without any makeup on but i'm gonna put makeup on but i really like these let's see the other pair these i've been wearing for like a year now they're like a double hoop ring but they're they are much shorter and less noticeable so i might be leaning towards these because kind of doesn't even look like I'm wearing earrings, so. Yeah, I think these are more appropriate for class. They're just, they give you a little sparkle right here, but it's nothing too crazy. And they can be covered by my hair. And I just really like them. Um, next up, I would like to do some rings because I feel like in the scene, I'm pretty nervous at the beginning because I'm in a police station. I don't know what they're gonna ask me about. So I kind of want to like play with my rings and because that's what I would do. So I'm trying to bring that into this character. Just bring you into my process here. So let's pick out 
a ring or two. Okay, so these are both from Anna Luisa and they're so pretty. This one almost looks like a wedding band, but I really love how it looks on a middle finger. It's just like very calming to me. It's so smooth, I just turn it all day long. So works perfectly for the character. And then this one is, I don't know if you could see it, but it's so pretty. It has this very thin stone right in the middle and it just, it could look like an engagement ring a little bit, but it's not. I put that on my pointer and it's just, I don't know why my fingers feel so big today. <laughs> Some days my rings just don't fit. Maybe that'll have to go on the middle finger on this side. We're looking good. We're gonna have a good start. Thank you, Anna Luisa. Okay, now my face is so shiny. We need to put something on this face. So for class today, my teacher basically sent us a bunch of scenes to choose from and we had free range, it didn't matter. Did I get that on my shirt? Nope. <laughs> Okay. So she basically said we could pick whoever we wanted, no matter gender, age, make it work for us. So of course I pick like a, a younger girl. <laughs> I don't challenge myself at all, but I wanted to challenge myself because I chose a scene where in the script it says that the character starts to cry at some point. And whenever I see that in a script, it is super intimidating to me. I always try to avoid it because I think like, I can't do it. It's so hard to harness those emotions getting real with you guys. Like, I don't like to cry very often, so like it takes a lot for me to actually cry. I have to be really sad. So like having to do that and harness those real emotions for a scene is difficult for me because it could be really emotional and it could like ruin the rest of my day. So I have to learn how to do it from an outside in perspective instead of from inside out. So there's a lot of factors that can help you on the outside to kind of make that happen. And that's really what I want to learn. Like going to this class, I know that I'm not perfect. That's why I'm there. I'm there to learn. So I decided to start the class off with a bang and try to see if I can cry. <laughs> so it'll be quite interesting to see what happens today, but I'm not gonna put so much pressure on myself. Um, you have to do it in front of everyone. So that's the fun part. But I'm used to that from other classes. So yeah, um, hopefully there'll be some tears flowing today. <laughs> if not, I'm not gonna be mad at myself. I literally can only do so much. <laughs> like I'm just gonna be at peace with that with myself. And if I try so hard to let the tears come out, they're not gonna come out. So I'm just gonna not try <laughs> and just feel the words that I'm saying and try to put myself in that position. So anyway, I don't usually get up this early. <laughs> but I'm happy that this class is in the morning because my last acting class was at uh, 6.30 at night and it ended at like 10 and I would get home around like 11.30 because I would drive into the city. So this is different. It's nice that it's in the middle of the day. Let's come back when my face is done. Okay, makeup is done and now I'm gonna fix a little bit of curls in my hair. Just, just a little bit, just give it something, but it is getting close to time that I have to go eat my food because <laughs> I don't want to be rushing, so let's do it. back. It's been a lot of hours since I got home because I went downstairs and I made like 15 shirts for the shop but I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the class so I'm very excited. Um, I did my scene and it's funny because we got to pick whatever scene we wanted from a few options and like five girls chose the same scene so like we kept hearing each other do it. Everyone did it so differently. <laughs> so one of the notes she gave me was that I over prepare I'm an over-preparer for scenes and that's not good because when you're used to doing it the same way all the time, that's the only way you can really do it even when you get a direction. So it's something I have to work on is not being so in my head about how I have to say everything, what I want what, what I want my movements to be, whatever. And it was cool to see other actors. Finally, it has literally been three years almost since my last class and that's too long <laughs> in this business but getting back into a classroom is gonna kick my butt and it's gonna be also really fun. So, very excited. And I get a little video clip of my performances every week so I can watch myself back and see how I did and 
I actually ended up doing better when she told me to improv all the lines and forget about everything written and just say anything but the lines, but like the same context, you know? So when I did that, it opened up my mind to really think in the mind of this person and that's when the tears started coming out. So I'm not gonna show you, you know, me talking because I'm not really supposed to do that, but I'll, I'll show you a little bit of a silent version. It was not a total fail today. Um, it, was, it was really nerve-wracking to be in front of people again, but I also know that it's kind of a gift that I don't like get stage fright or anything. Like, it felt like a very um, welcoming environment. Everyone was really positive and kind. Speaking of, we had to start the class by talking in front of a camera and just talking about ourselves so that all of the peers in the class could see what we're like as ourselves, like what our qualities are, what roles they could see us playing. And I have a bunch of papers that everyone wrote and I'll let you know what they said about me. So I knew this was gonna happen, but like pretty much every single person wrote the word sweet on their page. Let's see, two, only two of them said sweet on them. So that's actually good that I come off as other positive things. So this person wrote fun, easygoing, ambitious, great attitude. Someone actually compared me to two different actresses. So she said, I remind her of Olivia Rodrigo and Lily James, like from Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, and Cinderella, and all the things that she's in. So that was a big compliment. I don't know, I've never been told I remind anyone of that person, but Olivia Rodrigo I've got before, so that was fun. And I just had a really good time, and we skipped next week, but then the week after that we're back. And I can keep this an ongoing class for weeks and weeks, so maybe I'll do that, depending on what's going on in my life and if I have time for it, but. And also I need to get freaking auditions from my manager who has not sent me any yet, but I'm being patient. Gotta just remind them that I'm here. I told them that I'm taking class and that I have all these plans. Oh, and I'm also writing a short film for myself, which is cool because it's gonna be like no dialogue. It's just gonna be me directing it, me writing it, and me being in it. So that's something for the future, which I probably can't share with you guys because I'm planning to submit it to film festivals and you can't show it anywhere besides the film festival if you want it to get in. So it's gotta be a little secretive, but that's okay. Maybe I'll share like pictures from it or something. So it's a lot going on. Um, an assignment for the next class is that we have to write a comedy scene for two other people in the class, which is really fun because they're helping us explore other creative parts of the film industry besides just acting. So then I'll be acting in somebody else's scene. So I feel great when I get back into this and now I'm just babbling. I just want to thank Anna Luisa Jewelry again for sending me these beautiful things and they looked really nice in my video. They made my face pop. They just shined and you guys should get your own. And Mother's Day is coming up so you might want to get one for the motherly figure in your life. And you can use my link in the description below to get buy one, get one 40% off only by using my link, so make sure you guys do that if you wanna get ahead of the game for Mother's Day. I'm always behind on that, I'm always last minute, but you can be ahead of the game. So go ahead and get your own things for you and your mom, or just anyone you love, or just yourself. Do what you wanna do, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.